Hi, guys. It's time for another two important BKFK birthdays. We've got something special planned this time. I'm just going to open the door of the voice booth. Hi. Hello, Ruby. It's Gerald the Giant. Okay, um, just see if you can squeeze in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's big. Okay, Gerard. Happy birthday to Liam and Finley. Thanks, Gerard. Wait, I have another BKFK shout out to Manu from Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks to you and all of our BKFK patrons. Thanks, Ruby and Gerald. Gerard. Uh, uh, Gerard. 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 Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Thanks. And hello, BKFK listeners. We have had such a wonderful response to our new small talk project. The topic is monsters, where we invite all of you BKFK kids to answer these five questions. Number one, what is your favorite monster? Number two, describe your monster. Number three, what does it sound like? Number four, what will you feed it? Number five, if you were friends with the monster, what would you do together? We will publish your answers on Instagram, as well as in one special BKFK episode next month. To participate, just go to buykids4kids.co and click on Small Talk. We have some more news for all of our patrons. We have really enjoyed connecting with you guys through a variety of channels. We've spoken about many interesting topics, and we've had some excellent chats, suggestions, and insights. So, we've decided to start a Discord channel. If you want to ask questions, make suggestions, or simply just connect, then join us on Patreon. In this episode, we are joined by some talented performers. My name is Joseph. I really like playing soccer. I am four years old, and I really like playing with my brother, Dave Lamb. My name is Diva Shirasta. I am nine years old. I really love to craft, make up new stories, write new stories, tell new stories. Hello, my name is Mira. I'm six years old. I live in New Jersey. My favorite thing is to play with my sister. Hi, I'm Santi, and I'm nine, and I like video games, and I'm from Australia. You guys did a spectacular job. Remember, guys, if you like BKFK, then please, we'd really appreciate it if you shared it with anyone you know who might like it too. And now... Let's get on with the story. Uh, uh, yes, uh, thanks, Gerard. Urashima Taro. Long, long ago, on the shore of Japan, lived a young fisherman named Urashima Taro. He was the most skillful fisherman in the whole country. One evening, he was going home at the end of a day's fishing when he came upon a group of children screaming and loudly talking. He went up to them to see what was the matter and saw that they were tormenting a turtle. He felt very sorry for the poor creature and decided to rescue it. Look here, boys, he said. You're treating that poor turtle so badly that it will soon die. The boys began to treat the poor turtle more cruelly than ever. Urashima smiled at them and said, I'm sure you're all good kind, boys. Give me the turtle. No, said one of the boys. We can't it ourselves. I'll pay you for it. He held up some money. You can do much more with this money than you can with that poor turtle. Very well. We will give you the turtle if you will give us the money. Urashima took the turtle and gave the money to the boys, who scampered away. Urashima stroked the turtle's back, saying, Poor thing. You're safe now. I'm going to take you back to your home, the sea. He walked out to the rocks and put the turtle into the water. 
He watched it disappear and then set off for home. The next morning, Urashima went out as usual. He got into his boat and pushed out to sea. He passed the other fishing boats and left them behind till they were out of sight in the distance. His boat drifted further and further out upon the blue waters. He was suddenly startled by hearing his own name called. Urashima! Urashima! He looked in every direction, but there was no sign of a boat. He then saw a turtle had come to the side of the boat, the very turtle he had rescued the day before. Mr. Turtle, said Urashima. Was it you who called my name just now? The turtle nodded its head and said, Yes, yesterday my life was saved, and I have come to offer you my thanks for your kindness. Have you ever seen Rin Jin, the palace of the Dragon King of the Sea? The fisherman shook his head. Then you have missed seeing one of the most wonderful sights in the world. It is far away at the bottom of the sea. I can take you there if you would like to see the Sea King's land. Just climb on my back. Urashima was uncertain, but the chance of adventure was too much to resist. He climbed on the turtle's back. Down through the water, the turtle dived. For a long time, they swam through the sea. Strangely, Urashima remained dry and was able to breathe underwater. At last, far away in the distance, a magnificent gate appeared and behind it, the long sloping roofs of a palace on the horizon. That is the Great Gate said the turtle. The large roof behind the gate is the Sea King's palace. The turtle spoke to the gatekeeper. This is Urashima Taro. I have had the honor of bringing him as a visitor to this kingdom. Please show him the way. Urashima got off the turtle to follow the gatekeeper. Then the gatekeeper, who was a fish, led the way. All of the sea creatures, the fish, the squid, dolphins, and even the sharks bowed as Urashima passed. Urashima Sama! Welcome to the Sea Palace! Urashima followed his kind guide to the inner palace. When he reached the door, a beautiful princess came out to welcome him. She was more beautiful than any human being he had ever seen. Urashima bowed before her. When she spoke, her voice sounded like music over the water. Urashima Taro, said the princess. It gives me the highest pleasure to welcome you to my father's kingdom. Yesterday, you sent me a turtle and I have sent for you to thank you for saving my life because I was that turtle. Now, if you like, you can live here forever in the land of eternal youth where sorrow never dies and where sorrow never comes. And I will be your bride if you want and we will live here happily forever afterwards. Urashima was filled with a great wonder and joy and answered, Thank you a thousand times. There's nothing I could wish for more than to stay here with you in this beautiful land. Soon, a beautiful underwater wedding was held and all the sea creatures came. All kinds of fish, big and small, 
Whales, octopi, even the starfish came. When the feast was over, the princess showed him all the wonders of that enchanted land. Each day, there were new joys and wonders for Urashima. He was so happy he forgot everything, even the home he had left behind, and his parents. Three days passed. But then he remembered that he did not belong in this wonderful land and said to himself, I must not stay here. I have an old father and mother. How worried they must have been when I did not return as usual. I must go back at once. He went to his beautiful wife and bowing low before her, he said, I have been very happy with you and you have been kind to me. But I must say goodbye. Do not think that I wish to leave you, but I must go and see my parents. Let me go for one day, and I'll come back to you. Then I give you this, said the princess sadly, as a token of our love. Please take it back with you. And she brought him a beautiful box tied with tassels of red silk. What is this box? Urashima asked. That is the tamate bako. It contains something very precious. If you open it, something dreadful will happen to you. Promise me that you will never open it. Urashima promised and then bidding goodbye, he left the palace where he found a large turtle waiting for him. He mounted the creature's back and was carried under the deep blue sea. At last, the turtle carried him into the bay he knew so well. He stepped onto the shore and looked about him while the turtle swam back to the Sea King's realm. Something was strange. The land was the same, but the people that he saw walking past had very different faces. He quickly walked home. Even that looked different. Father! He called out. I have just returned. He was about to enter when he saw a strange man coming out. Oh, um, excuse me. He said. My name is Urashima Taro. Where have my parents gone? What? exclaimed the man. Are you Urashima Tatmo? Yes, said the fisherman. Ha ha, laughed the man. Don't make jokes. It is true that once a man is called Urashima Taro lived here. But that story is 300 years old. He couldn't possibly be alive now. Urashima was shocked. He now knew the few days he had spent in the Sea King's palace had not been days at all. They had been hundreds of years. In that time, his parents had died and all the people he had ever known. There was no use in staying here any longer. He must get back to his beautiful wife beyond the sea. He made his way back to the beach, carrying the tamate baku the box which the princess had given him. Slowly, he untied the red silk cord and then lifted the lid of the precious box. A beautiful little purple cloud rose out of the box in three soft wisps. In an instant, it covered his face, then it floated away over the sea. Urashima suddenly became very, very old. His hair turned snowy white, his face wrinkled, and he sank down below the waves. Nobody knows what became of him. 
Perhaps he found his princess and still lives today in the palace beneath the sea. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.